All right, let's try the same thing on the sharp. The big difference here is it will only solve for x, and you have to have everything on one side of the equation set equal to zero. So I'll work the same problem that I just did on the Casio, and I'm because it will only solve for x, it's easy enough just to type in the numbers. I find that easier than storing them all, at least for this example. So I have one half times my mass, which was given, times the velocity squared, that's what I'm trying to find, plus the mass times gravity times the height, which was given, and then I have to do minus 64.25, my total energy, and because everything has to be on one side of the equation. And then at that point I can do math solver, give it a starting value, it does not like zero, so I'm going to do one, and I skip the little next step. All right, 33 meters per second squared. Now there's a part B to this problem, which was find the mass given uh, a velocity. So it's easiest just to retype this whole thing. So unlike the Casio where I just changed the comma to be whatever variable I was looking for, here it's quicker just to redo what you were doing. Or start from scratch. So one half times the mass times the velocity plus the mass times gravity times the height of 10. And again, I got to subtract my uh, total energy. And once I do that, I can go into math solver. Again, it does not seem to like one, so I'll change it to, or sorry, zero, so I'll change it to one. And see what we get. We got our answer 0.189 kilograms. Just demonstrates that the sharp is not nearly as flexible with regards to solving equations. And it's not trivial to have everything on the left side of the equation. You know, if you picture something like PV equals NRT, you're having to solve for a certain value at times. That's not true. Strike that. We'll take that out in editing. But there are, I think, situations where it's definitely advantageous to not have to bring everything to one side of the equation.